Our planet is old, far older than we often imagine. Its history stretches back billions of years, long before the giants of the Mesozoic era, the dinosaurs roamed the Earth. Today we journey to the Paleozoic era, a time from 540 to 252 million years ago. The Paleozoic was a time of immense change, a dramatic unfolding of life in Earth's oceans and eventually on land. Imagine a world without trees, without flowers, a world where the very continents themselves were in motion, shifting across the globe. This era is divided into six distinct periods, each marked by unique creatures and environments. We begin with the Cambrian, a time of incredible diversity, then move through the Ordovician, Silurian, Devonian, Carboniferous, and finally the Permian. Come, let us explore these ancient worlds where life first experimented with countless forms and laid the foundation for the world we know today. The Cambrian period, beginning 540 million years ago, marks a pivotal chapter in the history of life. It is often called the Cambrian Explosion due to the sudden appearance of a vast array of creatures in the fossil record. One of the most iconic animals from this period is the trilobite. These armored creatures with their segmented bodies and compound eyes thrived on the Cambrian seafloor. They scuttled through the sediment scavenging for food. Another remarkable Cambrian animal was Anomalocaris, a fearsome predator. It had large stalked eyes, a circular mouth with sharp plates and two appendages lined with spines to grasp its prey. The Cambrian seas teemed with life from worms and sponges to early cephalopods, the ancestors of squid and octopuses. These creatures represent the early branches of the tree of life, showcasing the incredible diversity that evolution produced in a relatively short time. Following the Cambrian, the Ordovician period from 485 to 443 million years ago, witnessed further diversification of life. The oceans became dominated by invertebrates, creatures without backbones. Coral reefs, bustling ecosystems full of life, flourished in the Ordovician seas. Crinoids, also known as sea lilies, anchored themselves to the seafloor, their feathery arms filtering food from the water. Brachiopods, shelled animals resembling clams, also thrived in these environments. The Ordovician also saw the rise of cephalopods like the nautiloids. These relatives of the modern Nautilus had streamlined shells and used jet propulsion to move through the water, hunting for prey with their tentacles. However, the end of the Ordovician was marked by a mass extinction event, likely caused by climate change. Many species disappeared, paving the way for new forms of life to evolve. Section 4, Silurian Seas and Devonian Rise, Life Ventures onto Land. The Silurian period, from 443 to 419 million years ago, saw the recovery of life after the Ordovician extinction. During the Devonian period, life began to colonize land. Plants such as ferns and mosses took root on the edges of continents, creating habitats for the first land animals, including tetrapods. Tiktaalik, a transitional fossil, had fish-like features and sturdy fins. The Devonian also saw the rise of insects, spiders, and other arthropods. Life on land was beginning to flourish. Section 5, Carboniferous and Permian from Swamps to the Brink. The Carboniferous period from 359 to 299 million years ago is named for its vast coal swamps. Giant ferns and towering lycophytes dominated the landscape. These forests provided habitat for diverse creatures. Insects with wingspans exceeding two feet filled the air. Amphibians thrived in the swamps. The Permian period saw the rise of reptiles, ancestors of mammals. The end of the Permian marked the largest mass extinction event. The Paleozoic era ended, paving the way for the dinosaurs.